Well, hello there. Welcome to History Through the Eyes of Daniel Trinkle. I'm your host, Daniel Trinkle. Today, we will be discussing a time period unlike any other. It's time of war, fear, and really bad haircuts. Yes, today, we will be discussing a time known as the Atomic Age. After World War II, we innovative Americans decided to create a device known as the hydrogen bomb. Of course, many other countries decided to rip us off of this idea. Not to mention any specific names, but <coughs> Russia! Back home, we Americans grew very fearful of these unnamed assailants. In an attempt to prepare Americans for these bomb droppings, an educational video known as Duck and Cover was created. Of course, while most of the ideas in this video were absurd, it has still remained an important part of American history. And since this is 2017 and, well, everything's getting a reboot, we decide we take our own spin off this American classic. Thank you, and please enjoy the following video. And, well, if you don't, too bad. Now it's time for The Crap You Need for Notes, starring Jenna Jacobs. Yeah, it's one of our few educational bits that we've thrown in here. I know it might be a little awkward or inconvenient right in the middle, but it's what worked best with us, so deal with it. This is, yes, The Crap You Need for Notes. So, pay attention, kids. What began in World War II? Modern era civil defense, of course. Citizens were taught to protect secrets, keep vigil, and plant victory gardens. Because nothing says we can win the war like women grow your own vegetables. Many air raid shelters came out during this time, and some are still around today. Blackouts became very normal in some cities where they would use them to hide from enemy pilots. The Office for Civil Defense trained citizens to fight fires, rescue others, and administer first aid. In 1950, Congress created the Civil Defense Administration. This was responsible for bringing out many fallout shelters, the emergency broadcast system, food stockpiles, and the reason we're all here, Bert the Turtle's famous duck and cover video. Safety and defense classes were taught in public schools aimed at children, usually in the form of a video. They would teach children about radiation and its effects and basic survival skills. They would encourage children to discuss with their families this all-important question. Do you know what you would do if an attack came? you to someone who'd be helping us today. This is Bert, and he's a turtle. He's Bert the turtle. You see, Bert here has a unique way of protecting himself. He ducks and covers himself with his shell, which is strong enough to protect him from any predator. Say, a monkey with a stick of dynamite, for instance. But, since we humans don't have shells, we have to find a different way to duck and cover. That's why these children are practicing to duck and cover just as you do in your school. We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous since it could be used against us. We should be ready for it. Just as we would for other dangers that are around us all the time. Fire is a danger. It can burn whole buildings if someone is careless. But we're ready for fire and we have a fine fire department to put out the fire. And you have fire drills in your school, so you'll know what to do. Automobiles can be dangerous too. They sometimes cause bad accidents. But we are ready. We have safety rules and car drivers and people who are walking must obey. Now, we must be ready for a new danger. The atomic bomb. When the atom bomb hits, it'll look something like this. The bomb might explode when there are no grown-ups near. Paul and Patty know this, and they are always ready to take care of themselves. 
Here they are on their way to school on a beautiful spring morning. But no matter where they are or what they do, they always try to remember that if the atom bomb explodes right then, it's a bomb! Duck and cover! See? Paul and Patty knew what to do. Paul covered himself so he wouldn't be burned, and Patty covered herself with the iPad she was carrying. They knew how to duck and cover, and they acted right away when the flash came. Duck and cover! That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. The next thing to do after that is to stay covered until the danger is over. Yes, we must all get ready now so we know how to save ourselves if an atomic bomb ever explodes near us. If you do not know just what to do, ask your teacher, Mr. Kelly, when this is over. Discuss what you can do in different places if a bomb explodes. Older people will help us with what to do as they always do. But there may not be any grown-ups around when the bomb explodes. Then you are on your own. And now it's time for Useless Tidbits You'll Forget by the End of the Day, starring Emily Burroughs. Americans were aware of the dangers of the atomic bomb, but they were not aware of the dangers of radiation and fallout. The Civil Defense Administration was set up to educate people that they could, in fact, survive the atomic bomb. And they all began this when the Soviet Union began nuclear testing. And that's where the beautiful video by Birth the Turtle came out. Alert American Convoy was a group of 10 trucks and trailers that traveled the world to teach people about the dangers of the atomic bomb. And with that came Duck and Cover by Birth the Turtle. Teachers taught students through conducting air raid drills, yelling duck or drop and students had to get under their desk and cover their neck and head with their hands and some students even had to wear dog tags that way schools could identify their bodies when they were found just in case ah what a gorgeous day but as anyone very well knows any day can be ruined by nuclear warfare just ask hiroshima Oh look! Children! Playing on the playground. How lovely. Oh wait! What is that I hear? Oh no! A bomb! Quick kids! Do you know what to do? Alright! Now do it! Do it! Do it! Kid? What are you doing? I'm ducking and covering! Well who taught you to do that? Birth the turtle? <laughs> Well, hate to tell you, kid, but you're going to die here in a few seconds. That's not what Bert the Turtle said. <laughs> well, from the sounds of it, he's probably dead, too. Oh, look, here it comes. See you, kid. <laughs> well, now let's see how y'all handle this situation. Oh, look, there it comes again. Okay, now what are you doing? With what? Paper! And a tree! For one kid, that's a stick. Two, do y'all even know how radiation works? No. Well, nuclear radiation is energetic enough to ionize atoms by knocking off their electrons. This ionizing radiation can cause damaged DNA molecules directly by breaking the bonds between atoms or it can ionize water molecules and form free radicals, which are highly reactive and also disrupt the bonds of surrounding molecules, including DNA. It makes your freaking skin melt. Oh well, 0 for 2 I guess. Third time's the charm I guess. Oh look, a bomb. Not again. Seriously, why do you keep doing this? It's what Bert the Turtle says to do. Kid, I'm starting to think Bert the Turtle's against you more than he's actually for you. I mean seriously, what is this even accomplishing? Protection? 
From what? The roof caving in? The glass shattering in your face? The radiation? Radiation's not that bad. Oh, really? Have you seen the people of Chernobyl lately? No. Exactly. Okay. For the fourth flipping time. Oh, look. There is a bomb. Are you kidding me? All right. That's it. I'm out of here. Peace out, suckers. Oh, back so soon? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And well, if you didn't, please cut us a break. We are, after all, college students with no time, no money, and quite frankly, no life. Good night, and hope to see you next time on History Through the Eyes of Daniel Trinkle. I'm your host, Daniel Trinkle. Go. Hey all you Fall fans, did you know that when the infamous Fallout Pit Boy does this, he's not telling you good job or good luck, he's actually judging whether an atomic bomb is in range or not. Rumor has it, if you close one eye and the bomb comes below your thumb, you're good and safe. But, if the bomb comes above your thumb, well, you're screwed. Alright, bye!